What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is That Black Bun Girl and today is Back to Basics Tuesday. The series that gives you bite-sized information on hair structure every Tuesday just to help you guys with your natural hair journey, natural hair maintenance, natural hair whatever because the first step of taking care of something is understanding it. So let's get started on today's episode and we're going to be talking about cuticles. In my previous video, I talked about how important the cuticle is because it is the protective barrier for the hair shaft. If you haven't seen my video, I'll link it somewhere and then you can go check it out. Hair porosity is the hair's ability to absorb and retain moisture. Before we get deep into the video, let me first answer the first question that I had when I kept hearing the word hair porosity, which is, why should I care? First, as I explained in the previous video, your cuticle is a protective layer for the cortex and the cortex is where it's at. So it's important to make sure that your cuticle is in good shape to protect because that is what it's meant to do. Damaged cuticle means highly porous hair and highly porous hair means your hair absorbs a lot of moisture but then it also loses a lot of moisture. The water just runs in and just runs out. It just... Now this isn't a good thing because hair that absorbs a lot of moisture is weaker. Your hair is weakest when it's wet. Too much moisture will cause your hair a lot of stress and will eventually cause your hair to break. This is why the cuticle is important. Your hair porosity is determined by your genetics, but it can also be affected by the way you handle your hair. So let me start by saying this. When I started the, doing the research for this Back to Basics series, I honestly didn't care about my hair porosity because I just, I, I didn't care. I thought, okay, so my, so what that my hair takes longer to dry or shorter to dry? And then, because I didn't care to understand the importance of my hair porosity and the cuticle, I noticed that as I was doing my research, I was doing things that was damaging the cuticle of my hair and my hair health in general. And number one, number one is hanging out in the sun for too long. I, my, <laughs> my motto is when the sun's out, my hair is out. When the sun comes out, my afro comes out. That's just that's just the thing I used to do. That's just the motto I used to live by. And it's very silly, but I used to think that somebody with a skin tone like mine is immune to anything that the sun will do. Like, you guys, people out here getting burnt, but my friend, I have been humbled. Prolonged exposure to the sun's rays can lead to the damage of the cuticle. The second thing that I do that I realized is not good for natural hair, and this is this is a sin in natural hair. Try to be honest. Let me just be honest. My shampoo has a sulfate in it. I thought since I wash my hair with shampoos in alternate weeks, it wouldn't be such a bad thing. Turns out. I've always known that sulfates are bad, but I didn't understand how they worked. I just knew sulfates dry your hair out. And so I thought, okay, since my shampoo has a sulfate in it, I'll make sure to limit the amount of shampoo I use. I will shampoo in alternate weeks. I will make sure to seal the moisture in and use whatever product I have to make sure that although it is stripped, I have replenished the moisture into my hair so it shouldn't be such a bad deal how sulfates work is that the molecules can attract both oil and water which means that it takes the grease and dirt off of your skin and off of your hair emulsifies it or dissolves it and which then allows it to be rinsed off 
Sulfates also reduce the surface tension of the water, which means that the water will spread more easily and permeate deeper into your hair shaft. Now what this means is that your cuticle is forced to lift and buckle and your cortex is exposed to even more moisture. At this point, your entire hair shaft is at risk of being weakened. Your hair can end up being dull, dry, frizzy and more prone to damage and split ends. Other than the sun and the use of sulfate rich shampoos, heat can also cause damage to your cuticle. I didn't realize how much information there is on hair porosity and for that reason I'm not going to cover everything about the cuticle in this video because remember this is meant to remain bite-sized and I don't want to shove information down your throat. I hope to see you guys next Tuesday on the second part of Back to Basics, the hair cuticle. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you know somebody who might find this information useful, share it because sharing is caring and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I'm learning with you guys. I'm learning as I go.